What's good YouTube, Ben here. Welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how you can randomize The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Let's get into this. So for those of you who don't know what a randomizer is, essentially it's another way to play through some of your favorite games, uh, specifically stuff like Zelda, Pokemon, Mario, that kind of thing. Um, what it'll do is it'll randomize all the items and changes your path through the game. Um, so you don't do like your normal playthrough. You'll do a, a playthrough, you find randomized stuff and randomized locations. And it just changes up the game. I've done so many randomizers of like Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Link to the Past. And it's so good because it changes your playthrough every time. Um, but to do this, what you're going to need is a copy of the game, but a specific version of it. Um, you're going to need to get to the randomizer program, which is fine because that's web-based. And then you're going to need your emulator. So for me personally, I'm going to be using RetroArch because RetroArch is, for me personally, one of my favorite emulators, especially for retro. Um, also, don't ask me where to get a copy of the game from. Piracy is illegal, so of course you do not want to do that. Um, I will not be able to assist anyone in getting a copy of the game. Uh, so please do don't bother asking in the comment section. Any comments like that will just be deleted because I'm not having those kinds of comments on my video. Anyway... Question of the day today as well. What is your favorite A Link to the Past soundtrack? Mine is Lost Woods. Like, it's such a, like, an eight-second music loop, but I love it. Anyway, so to start this off, we're going to go to our old trusty friend, Google. Google's the oldest friend for everyone. So what you want to type is just A Link to the Past Randomizer. As you can see, I have already typed it in. Click on A Link to the Past Random. And it'll bring you to this website. So when you're at this website, you want to hit Start Playing. So this will start detailing stuff. You can also join their Discord as well. Um, so if you want to join their Discord, if you need any help with like routing or anything, any issues, you can go there. Or you can comment on the video. I might be able to help. And you need to get the ROM as well. So the ROM you need is Zelda no Denetsu Kamigami no Triforce version 1.0. That's the version of the game you need. And then you want to choose your game options. So head on over to Generate Randomized Game. Also, this website, I'll link it down below, but you can also just find it by typing like the Pass Randomizer on Google. Now, you need to select your own file. So I've got to go to mine. So I've got to go to my emulation folder, randomizers, Zelda, link to the past. There's my copy of the game. So once you've got that, you can go ahead and set your preset. So you can set it to beginner. If you, you know, if you're new to this, I would recommend beginner hard. Um, because then that will show you what your goal is. Um, so like, say for example, glitches required none, item placement basic, dungeon item shuffle standard, accessibility 100%. Uh, your goal is to defeat Ganon, open tower 7 crystals, Ganon vulnerable at 7 crystals. It's the same normal win condition. Um, and then of course, gameplay interest shuffle no, boss shuffle no, hints off, enemy shuffle none, difficulty swords assured, means you're guaranteed to get your swords. Uh, item pool is normal, item functionality normal, enemy health default, enemy damage default, so that's all perfect. So you want to generate a normal ROM. Now, it's going to generate the ROM, but you're not done yet. So, we want to go ahead, and you can change a few more options as well. Um, so, you can save the spoiler log, which I do recommend if you're new to this. Because um, that spoiler log will essentially give you, um, a, you know, if you're stuck, you need to find something. Like, if you want to go and find, I don't know, um, try and see if there's an item on here that's... You need heart. So, we can tell, like, you know, heart container, hookshot cave, bottom left one, boss heart container. So if you need to find pieces of heart or boss hearts, there you go. A uh, bottle of blue potion, so that'll give you... That chest game one is a bottle of blue potion. Uh, purple chest one, which is in Dark World. Progressive bow. So that's where you can find one of your bows. So that's a really cool thing to have. Uh, heart speed, you can keep that normal. I wouldn't bother. But this is one of the coolest parts about Link to the Past Randomizer. Is you can change the sprite that you're playing as to a whole bunch of different stuff. Like that's Archon from Pokemon. Uh, we've got Asuna, Bananas in Pajamas. <laughs> I think Batman, yeah, Batman's on here. <laughs> Breath of the Wild, Link, Breath of the Wild, Zelda, Bowser. Like, there's a ton of different skins that you can play. Diddy Kong, oh my god. You can play as Discord. Dragonair, Dragonite. Like, there's some really, really, really cool ones. Ezlo, <laughs> Random Link, Frog Link. Like, I'm going to go, because one of my one of my favorite ones to always use is, um, where is he? Do, 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 where are I? Homer Simpson. There we are. We'll play as Homer. Menu speed normal. Heart color. You can change that to what you want. I'll change it to blue. Why not? Uh, keep background music on. You don't want to turn that off. Who wants to play a game without a soundtrack? 
A uh, pallet shuffle's pretty fun. You can throw that on. Uh, shuffle sound effects, you can do that too if you want. Um, but that's basically what I'd recommend. And then you just click save ROM. And that gives you your ROM file. Which is exactly what you need. Because that's going to be what generates your randomized game. Now, if we go over here. And you open up your emulator of choice. Like I said, I'm using RetroArch. Uh, if you want the simulator, I'll leave it and the link to it in the description below as well. It's my favorite for retro games. So content, go to my C drive, uh, users, me, desktop, and there's my ROM file. So that's going to boot up the emulator. It's going to boot up the ROM. I'm going to have to turn it down because it's going to be loud. And because of a recent Windows reinstall, there we go. So of course it looks pretty normal. Then, of course, we've got the Japanese menu. So, this screen will be displayed. So, this is like your in-game tracker. This will show, you know, when you reload the game, uh, what items you do have. And, of course, your sprite is Homer Simpson. And the code at the top is basically your hash. The hash generates the level of randomness. But we start off pretty normal, playing as, you know, Homer. This scene is bootless until boots. Fair. Da -da 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 -da. But we're playing as Homer, which is kind of dope. And of course, you've got your normal <laughs> randomized sound effects, which is very nice. We found a heart piece. That's definitely not normally there. Because normally there, you would go ahead and you would find a lamp. Lamp is normally there for you. So, But the palette shuffles also changed the color of stuff in the world. So now it looks like it's got like green oozy water, which is kind of cool, actually. But yeah, this is basically your randomized game so feel free to play through at your heart's content i do love a good link to the past randomizer it's fun don't get me wrong a link to the past is not an easy game a link to the past is a very difficult game we got 50 rupees like it's a very good game it's just hard like a link to the past is so freaking good it's like classic zelda we got some bombs bombs are good but yeah, let me know what you think about this video in the comments down below. Don't forget, you can also support the channel further by becoming a channel member from as little as 9 to 10 pence per month here in the UK. And don't forget, I do live stream. When I go live, I go live right here on YouTube, which when I do, I go live in the shorts feed. So if you want to catch my streams on YouTube, don't forget, you can turn on notifications and subscribe. And if you want to catch my streams on Twitch, whether in normal um, 1080p, then don't forget, you can also join that link. It's down below in the description with any links on this video. Don't forget to go follow me over there.